Good day, Chino Valley teachers. There are four ways to join your students to your Google Classroom. I'm going to, from my class link, go into Google Classroom, and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new one. There's a video already about this. Tab, create classroom, up here, I'm gonna call it uh, James 21, 22, fourth grade, and create. Now in a previous video, I showed you a couple of adjustments I like to make right away in a Google Classroom that makes it a little easier for me to use, especially at the very beginning when my students are unknown to me and I'm figuring out their personalities and, and uh, what, they, what they might be doing to mess with me. Uh, right now, you can see in this upper left-hand corner of the theme uh, of the banner that it says class code. And if I tap the little square next to it, it'll give me that class code a little bit larger. And in fact, if I tap it one more time here, I can see it gigantic. So that, folks, is the first way you can join students to the classroom. Remember that if you have students in your classroom and they have their Chromebooks in front of them, you can simply project this code and have them join the Google Classroom immediately. They're in front of you, they can ask you questions, they can say is that a K or an H or is that a, uh, an F or an L, but this is a very clear uh, class code and that's a super easy way to get your kids to join. The second way you might want to have your students join would be to go over here to the people screen, tap on the word invite, and you can see right here there is an invitation link. That invite link can be copied and right now that invite link is on my clipboard and I can choose to send that to my students who have email. Uh, they can then tap on it in their email and it will take them directly in to our Google Classroom. Obviously this can only be done with students who have district email, uh, that would be grades four through 12. And while we do have Parent Square, which is very cool, currently as of July 23rd, 2021, Parent Square is only going to staff and parents. Uh, when it opens up for students, we'll remake this part of the video and we will um, indicate that you can send the invitation link in a post in Parent Square. Cancel that right there. The third way to invite your students would be back here in this people's screen, tapping on Mr. Head and Shoulders here. The plus sign, it brings up the same screen, but again, the plus sign. Um, and typing in the student's name, uh, email rather, uh, which is the full district email. So there is T. Farnsworth at, at stu.chino.k12.ca.us. Apparently I've emailed this person before, I've used this email before in some way. And by entering that, two things happen. One is a student will get an email, just like this could um, have the way this could have been used. But the second thing is it also provides them with a card sitting on their Google Classroom account where they will find it in, the, in that dashboard and they will simply tap to join your classroom. So it does two things. It, yes, it generates an invitation, but it also provides them with a card to tap. So I could just do that. Don't worry about that because it was a fake student. All right. And the fourth way to join your students is quite cool. It is done through the Aries gradebook system. Aries has all the information about all of your students. And because it does, it makes it quite easy. Your kids are rostered to you and, uh, in the landing page of Aries, you will see a page that you may not have noticed before, but I'm gonna show you right now. In your landing page of Aries, you see the column to the left, which allows you to choose communications or grade book. But right here on the very front, where the arrows are pointing, you see add website. If you tap on add website, you will get a pop-up that will allow you to either link all of your rostered students to your existing Google Classroom, or it will allow you to have the system generate a brand new Google Classroom with all of your rostered students in it. However, if 
for deciding to do this, which sounds so wonderful and easy, you do have to actually have an Aries grade book initiated. If you're an elementary teacher, that means all you have to do is about four clicks, go in there and um, begin a standards-based template and add your students to the template and your grade book will show up right here. Using this button then becomes an option for you. If you're secondary, you will, uh, again, just like you normally do, go into grade books, tap on add grade book or mass add grade books. And once you have done that and attached it to your section, your grade books will also show up here and this becomes an option. And here's that pop-up that's going to arrive when you do have that option and you choose add a website. Here is the create button, which will generate a brand new Google Classroom. And here is link, which will generate a small list, which will list out the Google Classrooms you've already created. And it will link the roster for that period or for your class to the one you've already created. Tap OK and you are all done. The little card for the students appears in their Google Classroom dashboard and you've added all your kids. So that's four ways that you may add students to your Google Classroom.